we're here to serve, whether it's cold or whether it's warm or whatever the weather is, and our community becomes our priority. Uh, from the chief standpoint, you know, uh, I do worry about our officers. As a matter of fact, we did some strategic things within our agency to make sure that we stay safe and uh, take care of one another. And But really the message to the community is this. I'm thinking about it like as an employer now. You know, you should, as an employer, you should be thinking about your employees because we're talking about our police officers, but when I'm talking about the community as well, you know, really, I mean, it's all about margins and it's all about making nickels, but the world, when it's 30 below zero and the wind chills are cranking the 60 and 70 below zero, nobody cares about their shirt that they're going to go buy today, really. And it might be an opportunity for an employer to consider strongly to cut some corners and send their people home. I mean, it's not just, you know, you can say they just live, uh, you know, a, a mile across the city and they don't have to drive in the country. Uh, truly, uh, think this through. That employee is stressed out about their car. A lot of times their car won't even start. A lot of times they're worried all night about their whole thing. Really isn't this an opportunity to at least consider, and not every business can do this, but some can, just consider to take the low road today and tomorrow and calm down and let the world go and Kind of enjoy it as a snow in day and take care of the people around you. So that message is really a challenge to, to the business community, to the employers. Not everybody can, but those that can. Our police officers will be out there, and we're going to serve. And we're going to serve quickly. We probably won't be stopping as many cars. That doesn't mean you get a license to go drive like a wild person. Uh, but it's, it's, it's about taking care of each other and the safety and staying calm and keeping your guard down. We'll still be on patrol. We'll still be looking for people that are villains or trying to do damage to things and things like that. It's not that we're going to be shut down. The point is, is let's be smart about it. And I encourage our community to do the same thing. You know, think about the conversation at the supper table last night or the one this morning at the breakfast table. Or the conversation is, man, I hope my car starts. Man, I hope my boss don't get late, uh, get mad at me because I'm a little late for work tomorrow. Man, I hope everything goes good. Maybe I get out early. That's the conversation at the table. How about the conversation at the owner or the manager's table? Should maybe be, maybe this would be an opportunity today to look out for my employee and take some of that stress out of it. If it's an option, maybe consider that. And in essence, what am I really saying about safety is take care of one another, take care of yourself, and don't go out in this weather. Well, you have kid dynamics, you have grandkid dynamics, you have adult dynamics, you have, I mean, there's a lot of things going on that this just puts more pressure on, not counting the mechanics, the, the hardware. So for services, we're there. The police are there for you. If you need some help, you're in a crisis, call us. We're going to help you. But if you can prevent yourself from putting yourself into that situation during this dangerous time, don't put yourself into that situation. You know, I know, I know that it's just, it, it, it just seems like common sense to me, but sometimes it's good to hear it from somebody else. And sometimes I think we almost need permission to hear it from somebody else. Like, it's okay, matter of fact, maybe that's okay. And so I, my message is really is the dynamics to safety, the typical chief of police or sheriff's going to get on here and say, you know, no travel, stay home. That's all normal. That's, that's true. Don't. The next dynamics, though, is the real conversation about do we have to? And isn't there a way we can help our employees and help one another, which in essence helps these kids and these grandkids? The school made a smart choice, at least in my opinion. They're just not going to take the chance.